What's up, YouTubers? Hardworker12 with you here today with a Subaru Outback and a Subaru Forester. The Outback's the white one, the Forester's the gray one. Now, I started selling Subarus in 2006, and I have been asked the question, what is the difference between a Forester and Outback more times than I want to relive? So I'm going to give you the spiel that's programmed into my brain and I'm going to show you the differences between the cars. Now the reason why I've got them parked end to end like this is to kind of display the size difference between the vehicles. Most people think that the Forester is the larger of the two cars simply because it's taller, but that is untrue. The Outback is 10 inches longer. The Outback is 191 inches long versus 181 inches for the Forester. The Outback is two inches wider, 73 inches wide Outback versus 71 inches wide Forester. But the Forester is two inches taller. So that's why people think the Forester is bigger a lot of the times, but it's not. The Outback is 66 inches high. The Forester is 68 inches high. So overall, the Outback does give you more cargo room and passenger room, but the Forester gives you more of the SUV look, and I believe the seats are also mounted a little bit higher in a Forester because you feel a little higher off the ground when you're driving a Forester, even though both of these cars have the identical 8.7 inches of ground clearance. Now, another difference between these two cars is the Outback is slightly more upmarket. It's a little bit smoother, it's a little bit quieter, it's a little bit more refined, and you have a little bit more availability of luxury features on Outback. One question that I will always use with clients to try to determine which car might be a better fit for them is what are you driving now? Because if I have somebody coming out of, say, a Honda Civic, a Toyota RAV4, some kind of a Hyundai, a Ford Fusion, something like that that's a little more of a mainstream car, I may point them towards Forester because another difference is the Foresters are slightly less expensive. Price differential, as far as I can calculate, is anywhere between $1,500 and $2,000 less for a Forester based on similar equipment levels. However, if I have somebody coming out of a Lexus RX350, a 3 Series BMW, you know, ML Mercedes, something like that, I will point them more towards the Outback because the Outback does have a little bit more of a luxury feel to it and a little bit more luxury features available. And I'm gonna go over some of those now. Now this particular Outback happens to be a touring model. So if you want power folding, exterior rear view mirrors, if you want Napa, leather interior and if you want ventilated front seats you're going to have to go with an outback touring also available on outback a hands-free opening rear gate and you don't even need to get the touring to have that feature it's available on premium models and limiteds and standard on tourings but all is not lost for the Forester. Let me show you a few things. I am currently sitting in the back seat of a Forester Premium that has an MSRP of right around $30,000. And look what I have, rear air vents. Now, these are not available until you get to the higher trim levels, your Limiteds and your Tourings on the Outback models, but they're standard from Premium up on Forester. Forester also gives you a much bigger moonroof than the Outback has. So if moonroofs and rear air vents are important to you, the Forester may be a better choice. One drawback I'll point out, and your mileage may vary, but the touchscreen is much smaller on this model. The premiums have the 6.5 inch touchscreen, but we still have actual knobs and buttons to control our air conditioning and heating systems. Now, here I sit in the back seat of an Outback Premium with a $34,000 MSRP. So I do have the giant 11.6 inch vertical orientated touchscreen. I do have my USB ports in the back to charge my phone, but I don't have rear air vents and I have a smaller moonroof, but still a nice view. 
So if touch screens are your thing, the Outback may be a bigger choice, better choice, because all of them except for the base models are gonna come with the huge 11.6 inch vertical touchscreen. Now, if you're gonna use your roof racks a lot, I would also give another point to Outback here because it has these nifty retractable roof rails on the top and the Forester just has the standard roof rails where you have to get the crossbars and put them on which isn't that much of a big deal because if you're really going to use your roof racks a lot you're probably just going to leave them on there but the Outback system is a little bit more trick another advantage the Outback has is towing Forester's rated to tow up to 1500 pounds the, the Outback can tow 2,700 pounds with the base four-cylinder engine and 3,500 pounds on the new ones if you get the 2.4 Turbo XT model. And that brings us to the final point. Both the Outback and the Forester have the same base engine, 182 horsepower, four-cylinder boxer engine, but the Outback is available with the 260 horsepower Turbo XT motor, which is not available on Forester. So if you really have a heavy foot and you want that performance, an Outback XT may be the best choice for you. So with all this being said, my favorite of these two cars has always been and continues to be the Forester. Forester's wheelbase is a little bit shorter, so it handles a little bit better and it just feels a little bit more light and lively to me. So it's the one that I like more. But with that being said, the Outback has typically been our best selling model until this year when the Forester is now for the first time outselling the Outback, which is kind of weird. For what it's worth, I've owned one Forester and I sold my mom another one, but I wouldn't knock the Outback off my list. I've just always preferred the Forester, but hey, it's your money, get the one you want, I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you do have any questions about the two models, please post them below and I will do my best to answer them. The sun's coming out, it's a beautiful day. I hope you're having a great day or a great night wherever you are. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and be good. Bye bye. Also available on Outback. Dude, this thing's making a fool out of me. Oh, I don't have the key, that's why. <laughs>